getting into the formal meaning which is being given by authors like Lewis Allen and uh, Bernard. Let us discuss the introduction. So here, you know very well, organization structure, it has been completely designed. It has been completely structured out only for one particular thing. What is that? To complete particular task in a very effective and efficient manner. Okay, so organization structure without that structure, you cannot imagine any organizational activity to run smoothly without any hurdles here. Okay, so you have to format a good organizational structure. You have to go for formatting in such a way where you get a very clear picture who's going to be your boss and who's going to be a subordinate, to whom you're going to report, how you're going to be accountable, to whom you're going to be accountable. All such things are clearly formatted in the organizational structure to accomplish one particular task here. So this becomes so important in the organizational concept because it clearly, it clearly, it designs, it is being designed by the management to accomplish few tasks here and it specifies clearly the boundaries okay boundaries of boundaries of authority and responsibility it tells you what is your responsibility it tells you what is your authority for each and every employees when each and every employee comes to know what what is his role in the job what is his work culture in the in the management, when he comes to know what is his responsibility very clearly, he just follows his route there to accomplish the task, whatever is being given in the management. So until and unless when an employee is not aware of what, what kind of responsibility and authority is being possessed by him, you cannot expect a very qualitative work from that particular employee. So here, organizational structure, that is formal structure, it gives you a clear understanding of boundaries, a limit. What is your responsibility? What is your authority? For example, if you take an accountant, okay, uh, what is his work like to maintain the accounts? That is day-to-day -day, uh, financial activities, okay, all the income and expenditure, revenue and expenditure concept he has to undergo. So, this has been clearly indicated and it has been initiated by the management in the form of formal organizational structure. So this gives a better clarity and it puts up with a better understanding with boundaries and it actually creates a systematic coordination. Okay. So when you come to know what is your work, work, you never bother about someone else. You never interfere with someone else work over there. You become so clear. You become so, uh, you get a clarity in your mind that yes, I have to complete one particular task. They have given me some time. I am responsible for doing this particular job. So I go for doing that. And I never go for interfering in someone else's uh, concept or someone else's way of doing the job. And I never go for taking any of the unnecessary mess or I never go for creating any unnecessary misunderstanding with my colleagues. So actually, it, it is a good thing where it creates a systematic coordination among the employees to accomplish the activities in the org organizations. So with this sort of background, let us get into the uh, meaning of formal organization so that we will get a very clear picture, little more clear picture we will be getting it. According to the author named as Lewis Allen, okay, how he is defining this formal organization here. Formal organization is a system of well-defined jobs. The first thing, underline that word after writing this uh, meaning over there. That is, it is a system of well-defined jobs. Now, usually we say that tell about, tell your employee about the job. Tell your individual employee, individual candidates about the job, whatever is there in your company. But before telling to one individual employee here, first you have to describe what kind of job is being possessed in your own industry or else own organization. Until and unless you are not describing what kind of uh, profile you're having with your jobs over there, you cannot go for recruiting the right candidate for the right job, whatever is there in your industry. 
so here first go for describing have a clear description about the job now for example i wanted one i want one manager for hr uh, or else for one production department okay so here what do i do is that i want a manager who's been persist with a uh, good post graduation qualification i don't want a manager i don't want an employee who is having only graduation i want a person who is completed post graduation and i want a person who is having at least minimum 5 years experience in the uh, in the post of manager in the production department and one more thing is that what kind of work is there in the production department as a manager he has to take care of entire activities he should be aware of when the raw material will get over and how he can go for ordering to the supplier and how he can go for appointing the subordinates to work in that production department and at once how many units is been manufactured after that how many how much of how much quantity of uh, raw material he he has to input to the production department everything all these work are involved in the production department if you take for a hr management hr department if you want one manager for hr department what is the work of that hr department here there is nothing but you have to choose a person who is going to fit for the job who is right for the job as the management is been given a very responsible position for you when you choose a right person for the company definitely they become the valuable asset for the organization and they will go for completing the task in time and efficiency and as well as effectiveness of the industry it raises up okay so here the work of each and every job has to be clearly described and clearly defined in the in the formal organization so here formal organization is a system of well defined jobs well defined jobs is nothing but first have a clarity what kind of job you are possessed in your industry within your industry first and each bearing a definite measure of authority each bearing a definite measure of authority in sense that as you know that when you start recruiting a number of candidates in a bigger organizations here that is something like more than sometimes more than 1000 workers also they are working in multinational companies organization should have a very clear organizational structure chart here who is having what kind of responsibility has to be clearly defined and it has to give a very definite measure of authority okay responsibility and accountability so authority responsibility accountability authority is nothing but that is like what kind of power you have to what kind of a power you have to do that work what kind of a power you have to command your subordinate what kind of power you are having to make one person to work to see that that task has been completed by your assistants by your subordinates the power over the other employees the power over your post definitely you call that task to be authority and one should come to know how much authority one is being possessed here responsibility is nothing but if i am promoted from the assistant manager to the post of manager i know that i will be enjoying lot of salary but at the same time i get more responsibility at once when you go from the lower level to the upper level of a uh, uh, job position over there when you get a promotion definitely honor is being okay could you hear me girls respond to me please are you able to hear me okay fine so now like we can say that when an authority is given and as well as the responsibility is given responsibility is something as i am getting into a upper level that is like when i am getting promotion it's an honor for me in the organization it is a credit okay at once when i get that promotion yes i i first thing strikes in my mind is that i am going to enjoy the salary but along with that salary along with that honor 
I get certain responsibility. I get certain, uh, like I get a fear that yes, I'm responsible for that particular job, for that particular post. Being a manager under me, the entire department is going to be ruled out. So all these things are like when I take care of my entire department, it calls it that it calls us. It has been known as responsibility. Accountability is something where if I am working, if I'm working in a middle level management and I'm appointed as a manager for one particular department here, who's going to be head of, uh, who's going to be uh, head of the department, like who will be my boss here, that is like managing director, CEO, all these people are working in the top level management and these people, they get chances. And these people, they get chances. Yes, yes. Now, are you able to hear me? I think now we are clear. Yes. So now, like we can say that at once when you get that authority and responsibility, automatically you get to know whom you're going to submit. Uh, like uh, accountability. Accountability in sense that like who, whatever the work is being done by you, how you're going to submit that to whom you're going to submit. And under you, how many subordinates are going to be there and those people are going to be accountable to you. So, all these things are coming under definite measure of authority, responsibility and accountability. This is about one definition which comes under the uh, concept of Lewis Allen. Now, let me go for discussing one more definition which is being authored by uh, Chester Bernard. Formal organization is a system of continuously coordinated activities of two or more persons toward a common objective. Very simple. It, it is in this author has been defined the formal organization structure in a very simple way. That is something like it is a system which is having a continuous coordination. Very beautiful sentence. Continuous coordination in sense that cooperation among two or three men here, two or three employees here. They go for coordinating in such a way to achieve one common goal of the organization. They get a chance of working in an organization. They get a clear picture what kind of work they have to perform in the organization. And finally, they get one sort of good thing that is coordinated activities. It endures them to achieve the overall common objective, overall organizational goal of the management. So, this is about formal organization, which has been the definition which has been des designed by Lewis Allen and as well as Chester Bernard. Now, let us see the features one by one. After the features, after the explanation of features, I will go for posing the questions, okay? So, concentrate clearly. So, features are nothing but here. It specifies the relationship among various job positions and the nature of their interrelationship. Okay. So, here in case of formal organization, the first thing to be known here very well, actually in a very clear way, they go for describing the job position and the actual nature of the interrelationship here. So, they see that each and every job and what kind of relationship they have with that particular department, what kind of relationship they have with that particular job there, it is being given, it is being designed out, it is being formatted and a clear vision about that particular job is being given to each and every employees here. And the next one to be discussed, it means to achieve objectives specified in the plan. It means that like Mainly this formal organizational structure is being formatted. This formal organization is there only to achieve the objective which is being designed out, which is being predetermined. 
whatever we have seen in the planning concepts there in planning department we have seen right so many sort of plans are there all sort of like strategy policy procedures and as well as so many uh, so many ways of planning whatever has been predetermined the formal organization is helping to achieve those predetermined plans here so one feature is very clear here that is like they go for designing the establishing the relationship of the job positions and the next one is nothing but it is formatted that structure that formal organization structure itself has been formatted to achieve the predetermined plans and the third one is nothing but emphasis on work then on informal relationship it means that the main aim and the main goal of formal organization is to achieve the objectives here there is no room for any human element there is no room for the for satisfying any particular employee here it is not like that it is they, the individual employee goal is not being so prioritized in the organization the formal organization is being structured out to see that the main goals the main element of the organization has to be achieved in a right manner so here the the human element the human desires the individual desires are not so concentrated and it is not so prioritized fourth point is nothing but it clarifies relationships and helps to know who has to report to whom it means that when you come to know that what kind of relationship you have with the organization what kind of relationship you really possess with which kind of department so here what happens is that one thing it never creates any sort of misunderstanding with your colleagues it never goes for giving any sort of uh, ambiguity there are no chance of ambiguity that confusion uh, it it gets reduced actually when there is a clear a uh, concept of relationship of one department to another department and from one job to another job here and here you come to know who is your boss under whom you are working and under you how many of them are working what kind of work they have to report to you and what kind of work you have to report to the boss so who is accountable to whom that has been clearly designed out it has been formulated in a very clear manner from the formal organizational department and the next one deliberately designed by top management to facilitate smooth functioning it is a mandatory concept it is a deliberate function deliberate function in sense that no excuse at all in this no compromise in this okay so where like you see that each and every person who is working in the Uh, organization they should be clear about the job they should be clear about the relationship with one another and they should know what is their goal what is the organizational goal and from where they have to communicate how they have to pass the communication we have already seen that scala chain could you remember in the principle of uh, management in principle of management we have seen that uh, chart there scala chain that is from a to b b to c there is level of authority from the top level till the bottom level how the uh, how the communication flows how the authority flows from the top level to the bottom level it is been clearly formulated it is been clearly charted out by the formal organizational structure so it is a mandatory thing it is a it is a deliberate function it is a deliberate feature in the management to see that a formal organization structure is been formatted so that the company's activities are flowed in a very smooth way there is no any hurdles there is no any obstacles over there so this is also one of the important feature okay so just a glance discussing about formal organization structure it is nothing but which has been designed by the management to complete one particular task it has been charted out with boundaries like who is responsible to whom who is accountable to whom what is their authority and responsibility is been clearly said 
and it creates a systematic coordination as the relationship among employees are so clear you get a thought like you get a good coordination among the department according to lewis allen he says that in a system of well defined job which is bearing which is bearing authority responsibility and as well as accountability and then chester bernard he says that it has continuous coordination where two or more people get united to achieve one common organizational goal it gives relationship specifies the relationship among various job position it goes for achieving only the organizational objectives according to predetermined plan it emphasizes that is it gives more importance on the work and there is no room for any human element and it clarifies the relationship and helps to know who has to report to whom so it's a deliberate function where from the top level management to the lower level management actually the function it flows the authoritative level it flows very uh, smoothly there won't be any sort of uh, problems so are you clear with the